Because the Son of God is the true reflection of God. The ability in God is an ability in the Son. But the ability in the Lord is not the ability that is in the servant. The servant has limited ability, has limited authority. I'm sharing this with you. So that you see that you can come for the Bulugin that was the Kuyo. And once singer has a figure play now, if you are to sing, you are not going to be able to do Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The parent of our neighbor, you need in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, the Bible speaks about unity. Hallelujah. Christ came to bring us into unity with Him. But when you are not united within yourself, how can you get united with Christ? I am calling the challenge of the Lord. Let us be united within ourselves. Let it not be who be with this juncture between your spirit and your spirit and your mind. Hallelujah. The flesh follows later. But in the unity. In the Bible, Jagoko Unchada Suri, the Kumele Bejara Zemsabe. So it's calling up the unity between these two spheres, the earth and the heaven. Hallelujah. Now, our hearts need to be united with our spirit. So, what the spirit, let you know here because. Christ came to purify our spirit. So that in God we are to, if we are born again, we are born again. Then we are to. We are to be unity. Our God is a God. We cannot be talking about unity in the church, but there is no unity within yourself, within myself. Hallelujah. Confusion comes there. Hallelujah. Because within myself there's a battle. My spirit and my mind is not together. How then can I be united with you when I am a confusion? Hallelujah. But in God I am, no more I am, it is my heart. Hallelujah. And the tapping on the yam, the mayawam um, that is where God starts to use or God starts to operate within you and operate now. God does not use um to wash to get there. God uses um to who is one, who is a unit. The mighty power of God starts to manifest when in you you have which is your mind and your heart which is your spirit is united because one of the things that you to pay how can then you can worship God when your mind is not connected to your spirit?